Knotts is one of the greatest and most reclusive hip-hop producers of all time. Born in Norfolk, Virginia, he helped define the sound of early 2000s hip-hop. The centerpiece of Knotts' production setup was the ASR-10. In his interview with Red Bull Music Academy, Knotts was asked, what kind of stuff are you using to make these beats? He answered, ASR-10, motif. Trying to get a crash out of it or something. It isn't big. You don't need anything big to make stuff. A lot of producers think you need these big studios and million dollar equipment to make things happen. It ain't like that. We use what we had. When we were starting out, we had a little four track and that helped us get to where we are now. The ASR 10 is still one of the greatest music keyboards of all time and helps to shape more than hip hop as we know it. The next keyboard not to use is the Triton Motif which he went on to comment about in a Red Bull music interview as well. Knotts also used the world famous SP-1200. In the Red Bull Music Academy interview, he was asked, so how did you first start getting into making beats? He responded, my father. He was a DJ and my oldest brother was a DJ. He would make beats when I was a kid, him and three of my brothers. Every one of them was different. My oldest brother did some funk beats. The one under him did more like hip hop shit. The brother older than me was into Miami sounding beats. So I took all that in and was like, okay, this is what I want to do. They really made me see there was different types of music you could do. They got out of it. I stayed in with my manager here. I had a little seven second sampler, a little keyboard. Every time I press sample on it, have a little sample up there, press it again and go over it. So it's like overdubbing. I've got all this shit running at one time. It sounded like shit, but it was cool to me. He let me hold his SP-1200 one day, make some beats. He told me a lot on the SP-12. That's basically it, man. Knotts also used the EPS a good amount as well. According to the same interview, he was asked, and you've been using the ASR-10 since the beginning? You haven't changed? Knotts responded, first, my homeboy had the EPS. I was messing with the EPS. He saw I was getting good on his EPS. He didn't want me to come over no more. Okay, I'll fix you, dude. But he messed up by introducing me to this money-making dude. The dude was like, I see you do beats. What do you do your beats on? I'm using his EPS. You don't got your own? No. So we came past the crib and said, okay, come outside for a minute. So I came outside. You want a keyboard? Yeah. Put me in this car, went and got a keyboard, man. I've been banging out shit ever since. I don't even go to that dude's house no more. I don't need you no more, boy. That's how I came. Damn, dude laughs. Last but not least, Knotts is known to use the Native Machine MK1. You can see him in his video using the Native Machine MK1. Knotts have produced some of the most critically acclaimed hip-hop songs and albums of all time and helped push hip-hop to where it is today. He's gone on to produce for a lot of the greatest artists like Jay Dilla, Drake, Kanye West, and 50 Cent. Shout out to TBS Drink Team, Crazy Chimpanzee, and Jawad Shabazz for the recommendation to cover knots. If you have a producer that I haven't done yet, put it in the comment section below. If you are interested in any of the equipment I spoke about in this video, I have included a link to it in the description below. Thanks for watching.